I think I have problem with Sad Out Sisters episode 2 or Sad Out Sisters its production and whatnot. And I'll do that discussion or I have that discussion on this video. Welcome back to the setup channel and this is the J Sutlaba. On here we do more of reviews, reality TV shows, conversations and subscribe to the setup channel as you would never get doing so. So let us discuss Sad Out Sisters episode 2. One thing I have problem with or like two things I have problem with is that so today they are yet to put subtitles for those time or those moments the ladies or the sisters did and could switch and it's very annoying or it's very wrong for, or it's very unfair for the for people like me who do not understand Aosa or who do not speak Aosa because those moments they could switch we don't even understand what they say or what they said and I think that's why I'm yet to over watch Chitam on Showmax because it doesn't have subtitles too and there was a lot or there are a lot of code switching from English to Igbo in that film so in that series so I can't keep up watching it then back to Side of Sisters aside from the subtitle issue which they, are, which they are yet to rectify or which they are yet to do they also have this issue with this season so with this episode 2 where there was a scene the scene where they were eating and having that conversation about the modeling agency um situation i was able to see cameras in this video and it just makes you remember like okay all of this is like i don't know i just feel like it's wrong or it's not supposed to be so we're not supposed to see those few men it just reminds you of what it is and the process of making all of that you get but that situation where you're not seeing the camera you're not seeing all of that it just make you stay connected to the show in a certain level reality tv shows i know they are like scripts not really script 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 but i know like there are procedures to making it and all of that which sometimes just feel like okay these people are just like doing some certain things for camera fine but if they do not put things like it's like this like making you see all of this you, that you don't remember that that is an issue or that is a part of the procedure where shows like this are being made so i feel like it should have it, this shouldn't be something that we should be seeing seeing camera seeing people behind the scene it's like seeing behind the scene inside a real show inside a show it's not supposed to be like that if you want to see behind the scene you should show us behind the scene not like in the film proper or in the reality TV show proper we are seeing those behind the scene it's not making sense so let's talk the um conversation or like the real tea for Sad House Sisters episode so but I think I just want to do like the character by character or the cast analysis for this part and I'm starting off with this. Zainab is that girl when I say that girl I mean what I what I mean I said what I said when I said Zainab is that girl she is that um, sister whom I feel like she's got a voice of her own and she don't care whatsoever people feel about her or whatsoever people think she's going to just do her and I kind of find myself loving her for that you know her position is the fact that she can't stay with them because she knows it's not ours and you know she just wants to be like on her own and it does make sense that she is standing on that ground however when I did so uh, from episode 1 I was like, why is this lady giving witchcraft's vibe? Why is she being so bitter? Try to be happy, but I think I can understand her position or her points after that meet with her, a male friend who is also a YouTuber. And getting to hear that she's, a, she's into YouTube and all of that, I think that just, I just find myself drawn to her. So that's that for Zainab. Then I think Aisha is an interesting and a very happy and bubbling cast. I feel for this episode so we did not see so much of her aside from her being in conversation she was not, bit, um, she was not so much in arguments or back and forth with anyone and I think that should, that is like her personality she will be that problem free person and I think I'm loving it for that or I'm loving her for that and Fatima a lot of person are like Fatima is stressing them and all of that so let's discuss Fatima and Rama Sadao because they had the back and forth about this the issue of always having to meet Rahama whenever she's in trouble and Rahama feeling like she needs to always stand for herself and not always want to get um her to be that person that will always come and fight and back up so for me I just feel like Rahama I don't know because I for me oh my god I find myself wanting to be 
very diplomatic with what I want to say. That's why I'm stuttering. But I think I don't care about diplomacy now. I should just say what I want to say. I think I kind of like Rahma so much and that is kind of making me stay blind to our flaws on this show. But I won't do that. I'll, start, I'll, I'll try to shine my eye to the fullest, yes. So I think Rahma is the problem here. Yeah? She's just giving me that African mothers, uh, African mother vibes because that's how they are. Like African mother, we always say, do this, do that, do all. Like the uh, problem because I feel like Rahma is still, according to Fatsi Mashes, like Rahma is that person that will always stay with her that just will always reach out to me because I know how it should be done and we're just going to do it that way. And it's making sense like, okay, maybe you're more experienced in all of these things and I always reaching out to you to know what to do and next step to make is not a bad one or in as much as she's doing that now you're not saying she's not standing up for herself she needs to be always there for herself i know Ramba is not doing all of this from a malicious way it's like from the place of wanting her sister to be all right but it's just like i think the thing is that for when people are in a situation like that it's just to you don't actually think of which one suits them best or which one you trying to satisfy that person because now for Fatima she finds herself in a position where she wants to do the one which she feels like okay um her sister Rahama will be pleased about the most that is always reaching out to her you don't want to situation where she find out that story and she'll be like oh you should have reached out to me you should have asked me this and all of that you get and she has been doing that but now she's blaming her for doing that telling her she should have always done it for herself and when she starts to know for herself, she still come back and like, no, you should have always reached out to me first. Now you've actually messed things up and all of that. So I just feel like for someone like Fatima, don't actually always look forward to just do if you if she does feel like oh if anybody in a situation like that, if you feel like always reaching out to that person will be the best thing that solves your problem, or you doing it yourself, we do it well. I think it's just for you to just choose the one that suits you best, that works best for you. So I'm speaking about Fatima here, yeah, she should just pick the one that works best for her over trying to satisfy or over trying to do the one she feels like we please her sister or we please anybody in our life. So I think that is the thing or that is all I'm discussing for the Side Out Sisters, the Side Out Sisters Season 1 episode So Bye for now. So it's a favorite Side Out Sister. For me, I even find myself in a very confused state when it comes to picking a friend, right? But I would like to know yours. I think I'm finding myself drawn to Zainab. Sometimes I'm not very sure about that. But I would like to know yours. Bye for now.